A new note on două lozuri, a.k.a. Uh, two lottery tickets by Ionuca Caragiale. <coughs> um, it is a coincidence. I have another note on this, uh, posted 10 days ago or so. Uh, not knowing that on TV there will be a... Uh, a new a new version a modern one which uh, i saw last night on hbo of all places all channels um uh, it is an interesting um uh, original story i hesitate because i'm not sure about the modern look which has its merits Maybe I better concentrate on that uh, than uh, just um, finding uh, flaws. Uh, uh, the mind is a unique place. Uh, it can make uh, hell out of heaven or uh, heaven out of hell. Uh, Milton. So. I better try the heaven making uh, version. And this is now hell. Uh, the actors are funny at times. Um, Papadopol, Dragos Bucur, Vasluianu was there, I think, John. Um, decent guys. I, I don't know if, I mean, the, at the level of George Constantin, say. Uh, plus, um, they have to play fools. It's a comedy stunt, so I, I, I don't know. Um, they're, they're, they're poor people. They also seem to be not the brainiest, smartest guys in the room. Uh, they wouldn't be able to build the Enron. Um, in terms of EQ, maybe they... Uh, they score better there, emotional intelligence. And anyway, they they they, they lack the means. They have uh, jobs which uh, pay. I don't know if the minimum wage or something. Uh, at one point, they have trouble uh, paying for gas. One of them is boasting about his phone. 4G, he says. It's a question of finding the street. They find the street and then they have to be guided there in, in Bucharest. Uh, 4G. But it turns out there's no 4G, there's nothing. <laughs> because he has a prepaid uh, uh, card. And that's for poor people. If, here it's the Lycée Francais, the French Lycée, and indeed uh, children of people with means, which doesn't include me, alas, um, have children. So these guys have not just good uh, um, packages for communication, they have the latest smartphones, iPhones 7, whatever. But even in other places, children in, in usual schools in Bucharest have good access. This guy, this poor guy, is what some mean people would call a loser. That's the role, anyway. Um, so what happens is this. they One of them buys this ticket, which turns out to be the winner of the big jackpot. It's five, six million dollars or something. Wow. The problem is that he has been robbed and uh, his man purse was taken and he has or thinks he has the tickets in there. What to do? They foolishly make go on the field and um, in, in various places ask about these uh, uh, criminals and they find a name and an address. And it's in Bucharest, and they decide to go there. Even if, by the way, the car is of an ancient Dacia, uh, which is in the papers 
listed as white, but they painted it black. So there's a problem. They know about it on the road. They say, well, look, they will take the car away from you if they, you get stopped. And you pay an immense fine. <laughs> uh, they hesitate, but they go. Uh, and indeed, they get stopped by a policeman. He looks at the, give me the papers, looks at the papers. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. Words to this effect, I don't remember the quote exactly. Uh, what color is this car? White. Come on. He asks the other guy who's in the car. Uh, what color is this? White. And he sees what he thinks is just a passerby. It's the third man in the team. He's just out there. He was taking a leak. Uh, as it happens, <laughs> what color is it? <laughs> White. And when he sees that uh, uh, an unknown individual, just a passerby, agrees with you, he, he's letting you off. Okay, you take the papers. <laughs> and um, which reminds me of the joke uh, in the communist days. Mentalities haven't changed that much. We, we, we had demonstrations, 50,000, 100,000 in all of Romania, 50,000 in, uh, in Bucharest, uh, demonstrating again the, the leaders we have, the Red Plague. Communist, really. Uh, with just a little new uh, marketing uh, rebranding. Anyway, uh, question for Radio Erevan. Is it true that Mr. Popescu was given a white... Dacia? Uh, the answer is, uh, it's not a car, it's a bicycle. It's not white, it's black. And it was not uh, given to him, it was taken away from him. And speaking of the lottery, no matter what happens, I will not say. It's no spoiler alert. Um, psychology tests uh, have showed that uh, lottery winners indeed experience a boost in their happiness levels after winning the big uh, million dollar or more uh, jackpot. But then after a few months, they return to their previous basic base happiness uh, uh, level, which is interesting. In other words, it doesn't seem to matter if you win the lottery or not. It matters to have a good happiness level constantly.